the KD just something about him at the elbow and he ooh, ooh. Do, 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 tall and ooh. get up high and just ooh. put it down. Every time he shot that thing, I'm like, oh, it's going in. He gave you 21. They gave you 21 middies last night. Yeah, man. 21 mid range yeah. jumpers last night. Jay, like that's what that team that does. One of, that was one I of the problems even, with the Clippers. Jay, is Kawhi kept even, counting by twos and Booker was counting by threes. Uh, no, he said mid range. He didn't say he didn't say long range. He, you know, yeah, he, I he, understand. He, Kawhi was counting by twos with the midi, and 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 Booker <laughs> was counting by three. Can that was know, that was when Max when didn't listen to the me. clip Max. <laughs> you yes. didn't listen to me. Jay. You gotta listen to it. I, I He's talking hear about Jay. the Suns. I understand, Based but on I'm me saying talking about KD. that's not the difference in the game. The difference in the game was Devin Booker, especially from deep. That's what I'm saying. What, what was saying the two different the game, things, Jay? Go ahead, Key. Take it away. No, I'm just asking you. What was the difference in the game? I was just talking about KD in the middies. Is all I was talking about, mm-hmm. basically, because it just looked crazy how long he is. Nothing they could do. Well, Even if they right up underneath him, when he elevated a couple of times, it was like, oh well, ain't nothing you could do there. That's like a layup. Well, I mean, the first possession off the bat, it was like that he caught the ball at the pinch post, which is like the elbow, right? Yeah, Posted I call up, it the uh, elbow. Russell Westbrook. <laughs> <laughs> you call it the pinch post. The pinch post. I <laughs> call it the elbow. I'm just putting you on, Key. You know, PNR, I want to make sure that people don't get, you know, uh, pick and roll. People don't get, you know, disoriented, confused. Pinch post, elbow. We teach. Uh, right here, this one. Ooh. That one right there. But, Key, oh. first possession in the game, right? So we talked about Ty Lu, Max, out coaching Monty Williams the first time around because there's no way you can allow KD not to get a bucket in the first 10 minutes of the first quarter like he did in game one or the last five minutes of the fourth quarter like happened game one. So the first four or five possessions, KD is getting the ball. And I give credit to Devin Booker because KD was aggressive at first. The end of the first half when they're down like 11-12, Devin Booker went on a tear. And they started double-teaming Kawhi Leonard in the second half. In the second half? In the second half. Were you surprised that they didn't in the first half? No, because you got the first half, you get a feel for the game. You see how Kawhi is coming out. But when they threw different coverages at him, even though with Brody having a good game, they challenged the bench. And look, the Clippers got they got one, man. They got one on the road. That's what you're supposed to do. Right. Yeah, they stole they, they stole, stole one on the road. I you know, when they was up in the first half and Kawhi was cooking the way he was, and, and Westbrook with Speedy Gonzalez, you know, he was doing he was doing nice uh in the first half. I thought I would wake up this morning and the Clippers would win. But then to close out the first half, you could see the Suns and Booker and company when he hit the three to tie it up, obviously, to go into halftime. You could just tell that that game was probably going to shift the second half based on the momentum going in to halftime. That's why, that's why I said he's counting by threes. It's like Kawhi was doing work in the first half, a lot of mid-range shots. And then Devin Booker with the three to tie it up. And then he picked up where he left off in the second half, early in the second half. He's hitting long range shots. I mean, he's hitting all kinds of shots, but that was, it, I felt like to me, that was the difference that, that book just got too hot. Well, that's why I said Max at the beginning, the middies, right? So if you notice in the first half, uh, Ty Lu had their bigs up on all their ball screens, right? So zoo box, the company, they were up. So what that means is they're not in drop coverage. So when you're up on a ball screen, it forces the guard to make a play. Mm-hmm. But those guys, like it called snaking off ball screen. CP, CP3 is so good at come off the ball screen, kind of like weave around the big, right? When, when they were able to make those middies in the first, mm-hmm. it opened up for long range because then they started going and drop coverage in the second half. And, and that's where these guys got – that's what guys like D-Book got hot, man. D-Book D is going to be the key. Like, look, as much as we talk about Kevin Durant – D. Booker is the most aggressive player on the Suns team. And give KD credit for looking for him. He's obviously been looking for him all series and finding him. And then the maestro at the end, CP3, close it out. Once again, off all those ball screen actions, when you're in drop coverage, he's going to pick you apart. There's free throws. There's layups for him, basically. Yep. Booker that's, ended his signature, with... that's his signature shot. Uh, when, you, when you look at it, though, you say Book's going to be the key, right, Jay? Yeah. If for some reason... He struggles. Is Kev, can Kev can Kevin Durant still push them as far as you know the Western Conference Final, even into the championship? See, Key, I think the lack of look, the depth is going to have to be the answer for the Clippers. Not having Paul George really hurts them, man. They have Paul George. They they would probably be favored. I, win the whole thing, right? Yeah, if they, yeah, yeah close yeah, to it. Yeah. But the 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 thing that makes me worry about this for Kev, you know, Kawhi Leonard. Did you? <laughs> 
key. He ripped. Kev tried to cross him over. KD tried to oh, cross yeah, him over last took, night. Yeah, the one time he, he tried to cross him over. But he's but too like, long. He, he, I, I would think, I meant to ask you that the other day. His damn arms are so, so long, long when you try to cross him over. And he slides and he puts those arms to the floor right there. It's done. You're the done. Hands. But it's almost so like that. Like, first off, if you guys, you have to Google this picture. I showed it to Max. This is like a month ago where Paul George and Kawhi Leonard are walking down the court together uh-huh. and they're dapping each other up. <laughs> uh-huh. And you see Paul George. Paul George's hand looks like a baby hand. Yeah, it looks like a baby hand. It looks hand. like my, my daughter Penelope Rain's hand next to my hand compared to Kawhi Leonard's hand. His hands are massive, man. Massive. It's almost two hands for Kawhi for one hand for Paul George. So when KD tries to cross you, he puts that ball out there. He floats it. Kawhi just sits in that pocket, and when he yanks it, he almost takes KD's damn arm off. They don't call him the claw for nothing, right? So, like, that's I mean, a matchup. If that's the matchup, like, Kevin's going to have a hard time with that matchup. Yeah, he got knuckles on the ground. Oh, my God. Or just dragging, Key. Right? It was a yeah. must-win game for Phoenix. I, I'm just – I'm still impressed with with the Clippers. Man. Brody's playing – I was about know, to add – Brody's playing his ass off. How fast is he, Jay? <laughs> What'd you say? How fast is Westbrook go? But, Key, you know where it is, though? 100 miles an hour to the cup. He said it. He said, you know, when he was with the Lakers, when he was with your squad, when he would make a mistake, Darvin Ham would yank him quick. Yeah. Ty Lue was letting him play through those mistakes, and he's seen that to be the ultimate difference yeah. just in the way he plays, how aggressive he is. He was making threes last night. He just it, – it, even though Phoenix won, it doesn't make you think like Phoenix is just going to run away with this series. Yo, the Clippers are live, man. Without Paul George, what does that say about the Clippers? Well, also, it's, what does it say about Westbrook? You know, I never thought he had really lost much on the Lakers. He was in a bad situation, right? But he was still Westbrook. And let's not forget, Westbrook, in the right situation, is a triple-double with 30 points. You know, like, that. Uh, is he really that much different of a player? than that? So you really do have a superstar in Westbrook depending on the situation. And this looks like a good situation. And, and much more assertive than Paul George, I think, in these situations. I think this can go six or seven, man. This can go six or seven. I mean, I, it's a shame Paul George is hurt, man. It would be – this could this might be the two best teams in the league if, if the Clippers are fully healthy, right? I mean, if PG were playing, I would pick the Clippers to win this series. I think if Paul George is healthy, I, I might take the Clippers, period. Right? Like, they're this good. They got guys like Terrence Mann. And just the one guy. Eric Gordon knocking down shots on the after outside. Another so after it, another. And they have depth, man. And they got the best coach maybe in the game right now in Ty Lue. So, look, if they can get through this series, maybe Paul George does get back. But yeah, maybe so, Tyler Hero gets back if Miami gets all the way to the NBA Finals. Yes, if they get to the Finals, <laughs> Hero's coming back. Hero, they need you now. <laughs> Not the Finals. Miami needs you now. <laughs> So the Suns win 123-109. Uh, as you said, this Jay, the Clippers get, clear, get the split on the road, which is the main thing, right? Did you, did you guys see CP3 give the, the, the praying hands of Scott Foster last night when the game was over? It's oh, so no. good. Key, What's he I'm now, so three here for again, all the When the, the game was over, Jay, I was probably in my yeah, you know, you're in the rim third I get it. dream or something. <laughs> <laughs> what were they, three and, three and 17 now? Chris Paul in the playoffs with Scott Foster? Oh, something. I don't know exactly the answer. I know the last 13 games, in. though, like he has not won. Yeah. 0-13. It only took Kevin Durant and Devin Booker. And a home game. And a home game. Whatever it takes. Get and that the other team's off your missing back. their Please. second best player. Get it off your back. Kevin Durant dropped the quarter, is in 25 points. Devin Booker there had a huge go. second quarter last night. Yeah, he did. That, that three at the, at the end of the half – Really, as Key said earlier, kind of made you feel like the, I didn't know who was going to win that game at that point, but it was like, oh, here we go. And then Book started the third quarter hot, too. 38 points, nine dimes. Booker scored or assisted, or, or, or as Nuno has written, cored or assisted on 60 points Tuesday. That includes 28 of the Suns, 33 in the third. Sun shot 71% directly off passes. KD, 25, 6, and 5. He played 44 minutes. It, look, he's been looking, clearly looking for Booker all series, both games of the series, right? Or, Jay, do you have any concerns that KD is playing too many minutes? Uh, how, no. No. I, it, it, <laughs> Kevin Durant is there to play 35, 40 minutes a night. 
Like, what, 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 now we're going to question whether he's playing too many minutes? That, that, that's why he was brought there, to win a championship. Yeah. Now, granted, you could say, well, try to get his minutes at the right time because coming off injury. But, yo, he rolled his ankle in warm-ups by himself, soft tissue injury. You got to be ready to play these minutes. Now, you could talk about them not having too many bench points. Can that catch up to them? But you Man, need Kevin Durant, man. due to their lack of depth, to play the amount of minutes he played last night. Yeah, and he's not playing. He's he's conditioned for this. The the, the minute restriction thing is not – this is not a no. time to worry about that. They didn't trade for him to play 25 <laughs> minutes a game. They traded for him to play wire to wire. The great ones play wire to wire. You didn't see – watch this one, uh, Jay. Michael Jordan never rested. <laughs> well, look, Michael Jordan was playing 82 games a year. Look, Kawhi Leonard played 39 minutes. He played 42 the night before. Same. Like you don't hear anybody. There's also you don't some, hear anybody complain about Kawhi Leonard's minutes. Who also right? has a more extensive injury history than KD. There you actually. go. There is something. I think KD sometimes you just look at him because he's wiry like that. People get worried, but there's something so smooth about his game. Even when he plays a lot of minutes and he's playing real defense, it doesn't look like as as um, energy consuming as some other players. Just when you watch him, like when you watch Westbrook play, you go, well, "Boy, he's using a lot of energy." <laughs> so, boy, have you? Ever, Max, I'm gonna ask you, have you ever met Kevin Durant? Yeah. Have you so you talk to him? Yeah. So you recognize like how like it's He's really I, tall. I, because I, I think that sometimes for people, when they watch games or they haven't been able to like sit courtside and see guys. You don't realize like how tall guys actually are. Yeah, he's are. like one of those Garnett dudes, Key, where he might be the tallest human in the world, no matter Man, what I met this, him, the hot so measuring set. My first encounter intercounter with him is coming from Texas. Mm-hmm. And and when he was in college his senior year. And the first time I met him, Jay, I actually met him at a draft party that I threw in New York City for the NFL draft, and he came. He was just a, you know, a rookie. That dude was so damn tall. I was like, there's no way. And the interesting thing about him is what you say, Max, when I'm watching him, Jay, he's so damn tall when he elevates, when he shoots his jumper from the elbow or wherever it's at, it's almost like he deliberately shrinks himself because he's so tall, he doesn't want to be over the basket. Uh, it's just fascinating to watch and break him down. So let me put everybody on to some of these details that he does differently. And when you watch him play next game, your fans, you guys will be able to tell me, oh, I saw it. First off, because I've worked out with him. I played one-on-one against him. A dude, like, Brody is 6'3". Right? Brody looks really small. Watch when KD catches the ball at the pinch post, like the elbow or the free throw line extended. Key, most guards, because he's a guard, right? When they rip through, like, they try to get lower with the ball. Like, they bring the ball to the – he rips the ball over the top. So, like, think that, like, the ball is ripping over Russell Westbrook's head to get to his shot. And when he gets to his spots on the floor, he has that Dirk-like fade. Yeah. So, at seven feet tall, when you have a Dirk-like fade and he's always shooting leaning back – it's it's the most unstoppable shot there is in the know, game. I never today. thought of it like that. You're right. He's about Dirk's height. It's like you gave Dirk handles. Dirk was enough without the handles, but you gave Dirk superior handles. And lot. then everything they do is off ball screen. So, like Zubak, whoever that big is guarding the ball screen, that's who's actually guarding guys like Devin Booker and CP3. Good luck with that in the scouting report. So they kept trying to change up what they were doing. They were double teaming. They weren't. And that's what allowed Devin Booker and these guys to open up the lanes in the second half. Hey, man, I missed that. I said, did Westbrook and KD have words? I just saw it flash across our screen. Oh, they talking. have words every game. No, but it was like KD said something. He said something back to him right here. Like, look, check this out, Jay. I missed that. When did I miss that? I'm telling you, they 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 all the time. Yo, know, they, 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 Those two have such – this is what I love about hoops, man. Like, this goes all the way back to OKC. What were things that people said – about Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook. That Russell Westbrook was the the alpha. KD was more the beta back when they're OKC, and Russ dominated the ball. Like there is real friction here between these two, and you feel it. You see Russ guarding him all the time, and they bark back and forth at each other. It, it, we it's were like, watching on ESPN. You just now they just as they cross paths, they look back and each barked at each other just for a second. Yeah. It's like watching Luca and Who's Devin that? Booker. They don't like each other. That's okay. We here for that. I want to see that. Ooh. Used to be that way back in the day all the time. Get chippy.
It should get and that way. As you way. guys said, AAU and everything kind of everyone became friends and and, and you felt. I mean, look, but this it, is better really with rivalries. It's not like Phoenix is that much better than the Clippers right now. It ain't that far off, man. No, it's, it's it ain't one, that one. far off. Like well, only because Paul seven. George is out. Otherwise, watching this even so far, it, if the Clippers had Paul George, they'd probably be favored to win the whole thing. Yeah. I think. No. Best coach to me. The way they were a superstar up. that can match up with anyone in Kawhi, a number two who's better than most of the other number twos, and they go ten deep. I mean, D book was real. He got it off, and CP CP three closed it out last night. All pick and roll. The like I said, twenty one middies, twenty one mid range shots that were made. That's, That's what the Phoenix does. Line, Max. So, what I I, I get. It. As a matter of fact, <laughs> the reason everyone started taking so many threes is that well, if they're going to defend. You know, like if the defense is the same, might as well get an extra point. But they don't defend the mid-range anymore. Might as well take it. Inside the three-point line, Max. Right on the key, that area. You know, I don't know elbow, why. Uh, I don't get the Midi, Max. Yeah, mid-range, yeah. Max. Midi. Yeah. Extended I don't get free the throw line, Max. That kind know. of that it's area right, right there. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.